So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the M Pencil uh, for note taking on your Huawei uh, MatePad 11.5. As you can see, I'm in the notes, and if you want to use it, go to the notes app. And now you can create a new notebook by clicking on new note. Then uh, you can create a new note, which is going to be a notebook, or a new folder, which is going to be a folder. Yeah, like, literally. <laughs> Never mind. New note. Uh, and now we can select uh, the book cover, the notebook cover, and we can set a custom one, simple patterns. There's the, there's lots of different variations here. Mm. And um, we can enter note name. Let's enter it, I'll make it like, I don't know, first note. Okay, never mind. First notes, right? Uh, let's approve it here. Uh, I could have changed a bit more. <laughs> so maybe let's. Um, okay, I, I I can't really edit it. Never mind. Let's let's create a new note. Okay, so I wanted the book cover, but I also wanted to. You can change uh, it to landscape or portrait. I'll set it to portrait. Then you can set it to tablet aspect ratio. A4, which is a standard like paper in Europe. I know that in the United States uh, there's letters. So maybe if you have United States instead of like United Kingdom, like I have set as a region, maybe it will be letter instead of A4. I don't know, or maybe legal um, <clears throat> format. Then uh, there is e-ink tablet and phone. So um, yeah, I think I'll leave it on tablet. Now um, you can set it to basic ones like blank, wide ruled, narrow ruled, um, dotted, small graph or medium graph. You can go to writing and select handwriting paper, graph paper, grid paper, Chinese, letter Chinese, and music steps. You can also go to plans and do stuff like that, or work and education. Uh, I'll select a dotted one. You can change the pa paper color, of course. I'll set it to this one, this little warm, a little warm one. I'll actually change the brightness because you probably don't see as much as I do. Yeah, so there are different colors here. Mm, just a minor difference, but I think um, I appreciate it. Uh, let's set the note name again. Approve. And now I'm gonna uh, start writing those notes. Of course, you can flip the tablet or whatever. Mm. And now you can start uh, doing stuff. I'll show you different tools here in a moment, but let's just start by uh, writing something down. And um, now you can click here to set to change the type of pen. You can select ball pen, fountain pen. Um, felt tip pen or brush you can see there are different tools here and uh, I can like select different ones whichever one I want and it's gonna work and um, for some I can only change the thickness and the opacity and the color but I can also um, add for fountain pen, I can change the pressure sensitivity. For felt tip pen, I can change the pressure sensitivity and the roundness. 
So if I set it to less round, then you'll see that the ends are, aren't round. And if I set it to 10% uh, roundness, they are more rounded here at the end. So this is how it works. Now uh, for the brush, I can also just change the pressure sensitivity. Now you can see low pressure and higher pressure. So yeah. Now there's also a uh, HB pencil or 2B pencil. Um, so yeah, let's select the HB pencil um, and you can see it works like an HB pencil and the 2B pencil is gonna be darker and like softer uh, to use mm, and you can also change some different stuff then there is ma a marker or a highlighter let's select a marker you can draw with it you can also select a highlighter to highlight something it's actually gonna go like on the bottom of what you're highlighting so that's great it doesn't cover what you're highlighting Mm, and then there's uh, the eraser. You can also adjust the erase uh, settings, but also to, for eraser, you can actually double tap the M pencil. You can see it's changing when I double tap it. And now I can start erasing. Now uh, let's go to some other tools that we have here. Like for example, this one, which is this very bright neon stuff mm. and it's just for a moment for highlighting something for a moment and uh, like a laser and it's great if you have an external uh, display for example and you're uh, like showing something to someone you can highlight it and they can see it then it will disappear you can enable that option um, uh, this one so you can't uh, really draw with a finger you can only draw with uh, the pen. And now I can draw with a finger. And um, to move, if that no finger mode is enabled, I need to use two fingers to move around. So whatever you prefer. And then there is uh, this uh, template. You can change the template. Um, and uh, there are some other modes like selection. You can select something. Now you can move it around, you can place it somewhere else, you can click on it to convert it to text. Let's insert. You can see it is now um, added. So we can move it. Yeah. And now um, there's, there's way more into that, uh, like this um, shape mode. You can see when you draw a shape, It'll convert it to a shape automatically. Mm, you can do do a lot here. Mm, yeah, but also uh, like you don't have to have that shape mode enabled to draw a shape. You can use a normal mode. Like let's switch to ball pen for example. And now if I want a triangle, I can just draw it and hold. And it's going to convert it into a triangle. Um, yeah, and I can just uh, like... I can also move the ends so it's actually like different angles here and there. I think that's great. You can do a circle. Well, I can do a circle really well. <laughs> um, yeah, you can do a heart and other stuff. You can also insert text. If you want to insert an actual text, then uh, we can we can do it. But uh, not really. <laughs> okay, it disappeared somewhere. Okay, this is where the text field went. Yeah, I can move it around and I can start 
writing something or use the keyboard to write it down or stuff like that um, and uh, there's also stickers so you can uh, just click on stickers create a new sticker from a gallery and later on you can paste it here or just paste a photo from your um, from your tablet and these are all the things about the notes of course you can create new pages by um, like by sliding yeah by sliding down you can create a new page and then start with that new page so i hope that this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one